What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're talking about several topics in this video here today. Talking about Scream 6, Jeepers Creepers 4, Halloween Ends, and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Now these new behind the scenes photos that have come out recently have given us a first look at Ghostface in the background of this one and specifically if you zoom in on it. Uh, a minor first glance at Ghostface in Scream 6 and then we also had some new images that came out of Samara Weaving. I think all of these are still coming from that Be Real app that Mason Gooding seems to be taking over for the most part. So you had this image of the crew and then you had this image here that came out of Samara weaving This most recent photo has people thinking she is dying or is the killer and honestly, of course It's gonna be one or the other anyway <laughs> But I think she has her throat slit under this and I don't think she's dressed as Ghostface underneath that And if she is this could be for something else She doesn't necessarily mean just because she's dressed as Ghostface that she's gonna end up being the Ghostface killer in Scream 6 this could be for stab or something <laughs> honestly because i don't think she would share something of her dressed as ghostface anyway so also some of these new images that came out of new areas recently that seem to suggest filming is continuing till the 26th of august and references to hank loomis and jill roberts like what you see here on your screen uh i think that says jill's flower shop and then another one i think said like the one that's going to come up on your screen hank's steady hands so clearly i would say these are not to those two characters jill roberts and hank loomis two people who have been very integral to the overall narrative so far because one was a ghost face killer the other one was a part of events that spiraled into where we are now uh so we'll see if this movie is going to be filming till august 26th from my knowledge that's still not true what we'll, we'll see from my, what i know this movie apparently is supposed to be wrapping on august 22nd or 23rd there should be no reason they are filming till august 26th but you know if they are filming till august 26th and they just are i don't think they're going into september like many people thought melissa barrera was stating uh they they should be filming or wrapping filming by the end of this month so Jeepers Creepers 4, for any of you who are going to that Fathom event, many of you might uh, cancel your tickets after hearing this. <laughs> Jeepers Creepers 4 is set to release on Blu-ray this November. So the updated runtime details that I saw mentioned that it's actually going to be an hour and 28 minutes. I know I saw a few of you actually comment this. So I'm getting this from Amazon and on Blu-ray.com. The movie is already available to pre-order as well. And I wouldn't be surprised if it had a sci-fi network airing after this Fathom event coming up next month in September. We know it's supposed to have a three-night showing, September 19th, 20th, and 21st. I know, again, a lot of you have already bought your tickets. You're excited. You're going to go out and watch it. We know all the central stuff that we should expect going into this movie. A horror hound festival. Chase and Lane is our protagonist. And like some type of mixture of a slasher movie, escape room, that type of stuff. Hellfest even. And Jeepers Creepers thrown into the mix. So the fact that this movie is coming out on home media that quickly... Again, for a lot of you, I can already tell or I can already anticipate that some of you might end up canceling your tickets. Uh, not all of you, but I wouldn't be surprised if like 5% of you cancel your tickets. And I don't blame you. <laughs> That's not too far away. It's coming out on November 15th. You again can go to Amazon.com if you want to pre-order the home media release of Jeepers Creepers 4 for whatever reason. And you can add it to your collection. Because again, this movie might end up being better than Jeepers Creepers 3. The bar is so low, there's no way that it can be worse than Jeepers Creepers 3. But if it manages to do that, I might give it an extra star just for somehow managing to be worse than the third movie. <laughs> but we'll see what happens with Jeepers Creepers 4 when it releases next month. This fact them event i'll again have my review up on the channel after i see it on september 19th we need to jump into halloween ends so halloween ends again coming out on what october 14th and the second trailer has not arrived but it has to be coming sooner or later but what will it show i'm expecting that this will show Corey getting bullied because again it seems like the direction they're going to take it should be showing Corey cunningham a little bit more about what might draw him out to be the copycat killer or, or leads him becoming a copycat killer uh what his attachment to Allison is, how he meets Allison, and showing Lori, and I guess how she gets involved with Corey and Michael Myers alike. So I'll have another solo video talking about Michael Myers being supernatural up on the channel later today as well, because there was something I came across on Reddit that I thought was interesting. I'm not saying I necessarily agree with it, but I did find it interesting, and I want to know what everyone else thinks about this theory that I saw over on Reddit. So the second trailer should be here again sooner rather than later, of course, sometime in September 
September. I would predict maybe mid-September to hype up the fact that the movie's coming out in a few weeks and we'll get some new glimpses of this movie in that second trailer. Or do you not want a second trailer? Let me know that down in the comment section below. And as far as how they've been give, how, how they've been doing the marketing, I know a lot of you think the marketing for Halloween Ends has been middle of the road or lackluster altogether. I would say it's pretty eh. I think, honestly, they're going to kick it up very heavily going into September. I just think that there's a lot of confidence that this movie is going to be a success at the box office, that they're saving a lot of their marketing. Like, we still don't have a lot of the magazine stuff that I, I'm expecting to get. We still don't really have a lot of official steals that I'm expecting to get as well at some point. All of that seems like it's going to be cranked out in September leading into October. So we'll see what happens. Jumping into the last thing, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So Buffy the Vampire Slayer was supposed to have a reboot or some type of revival with Monica Breen as the showrunner, Joss Whedon as the executive producer. But that seems to have fallen through the cracks and it seems uh, the show isn't going to happen anytime soon because it's been revealed to be on pause by another executive producer during an interview with TV Line recently. The show was seemingly going to be set in the same world, I guess, and introduce a new Slayer after the events of Chosen or was going to retell Buffy's story and just put a person of color in the role. Now, to be honest, the route people want is a sequel series since the finale has set up a world of stories to tell. If someone worthy enough ever comes along, then they need to dive back into this universe at some point. There is no reason to, again, put us in a world where you give us Buffy Summers, but she's now a person of color when the when people of color and slayers that are people of color have already been shown to exist with their own identities there's no need to retread on buffy's story when you can easily just set it after chosen put it in the same universe same timeline give a person of color their own identity for those of you buffy fans you know what i'm talking about you already have kendra we have i think her name was senea and then you have nikki wood they already gave people of color that were slayers their own identities so continue to do that and set it after the events of chosen uh Everything can still be left canon. It doesn't necessarily have to pick up after the comic books. I know some people would prefer that. But setting this after Chosen and just picking up with a person of color, you can do that. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.